Some of you guys were asking how to flash a ROM on a Windows mobile phone, uh, specifically the Xperia X1 here. So uh, here's a short video on how to flash a ROM. First thing you should do is head over to xdadeveloper.com and uh, find the phone that you want to flash on. So uh, if it's not there, chances are you can't flash it. Then you uh, go into ROM development and you find some sort of uh, thread that talks about flashing uh, your ROM. And my preferred way of flashing the ROM is through the microSD card method. Uh, this also allows you to carry a ROM with you, so that way in case anything screws up in your phone, you can reflash it on the go. Um, so as you see, the first thing that you should do is make sure your X1 or Windows mobile phone has a hard SPL. This basically unlocks your phone and allows it to be flashed, and if you do not do this step, your phone will be bricked. So uh, head over to XDA Developers and make it have a search for hard SPL and download it and follow the procedures. Second, make sure your micro SD card is formatted with FAT32. So there you go, this is pretty much all you need to do. Now you download the ROM of your choosing, uh, choose the phone of your choosing, and uh, let's see, here I have the Touch It 10.1 ROM downloaded, and often your uh, ROM will come in a packet of many files so uh, sometimes it can actually be confusing which one is the ROM file and uh, the easiest way to find it is that it's the largest file this one as you can see is 145 megabytes I mean uh, any other file in there will be probably under 5 megabytes so it's pretty hard to confuse it it will uh, have an ending of NBH and uh, it might be named different things such as uh, REU unassigned basically what you want to do is rename it to Cuffs K-O-V-S-I-M-G. This is uh, the particular name for the Xperia X1, and the name uh, changes for every phone, so make sure that you have the correct name for your phone. Next, what you do is put this file on your micro SD card. I recommend uh, plugging it in through through an adapter instead of syncing it because it will take a whole long time to tra uh, transfer the file. Next, what you want to do is every single phone has a specific way of getting to the initial boot menu. Uh, the way of getting to the boot menu of this phone is holding the power button, holding the volume button, and uh, putting the stylus into the hole that's below the battery cover. Uh, this is what you get for having manual focus. Where is it? There it is. There, you put the stylus in there. So all at the same time, and uh, I just tried in different configurations, let them, uh, hold it there for a second. And a screen will pop up for you to say, press uh, the power button to flash the ROM. There you go, you press the power button and uh, your ROM will flash. Afterwards, um, I prefer to do a hard reset, which will uh, basically clear your phone of any unwanted information that might have somehow been left there after flashing the ROM, just to make it work a little better. And the way you do this is by holding down this but uh, these two buttons that stick up ones that are slightly raised above um, these two, this one right here, this one right here, the metallic ones, and uh, hold the pin once again. And a new menu will come up that will ask you to reset your settings, it will look slightly different than uh, the previous menu. After this, your phone will restart and your new ROM around will begin to load and everything will be great. I mean, this is all you really have to do. Uh, things you should watch out for is Make sure the file is completely copied into your micro SD card. One time uh, I thought it was copied and I hurried and uh, took my card out, flashed the ROM and it turned out at 95% or something it stopped because the file ended at 95%. Uh, I kind of freaked out and thought my phone was going to be dead, but uh, I took out the micro SD card, uh, reflashed it, I mean, recopied re the file, uh, reflashed it and it was all fine. So, um, from what it seems, it actually isn't that easy to brick your phone doing this stuff. Uh, I mean, because I already would have. Um, any other questions? Um, just reply to my video. And this is a pretty basic guide. I mean, anyone can do this.